as you see, the plate already in its uh, original position, but on the track, uh, we just clamped the pin block, our pin block already on the place. As you see, it's a heavy duty clamps, push it towards the uh, flange. Uh, now, what we're gonna do, we just make the, uh, the holes for the screws and actually we put it on all screws here to be sure that it is stay on the right position. Uh, then later on we uh, make the uh, measurements for the uh, drilling uh, the holes for the uh, pins. For these purposes, uh, we uh, just use this tool. I designed it, it's again a long time ago. As you see, this is like, uh, like a table. I weld it and put on the wheels and uh, every drill uh, carries the, uh, the certain bit that I need. Uh, some of the drills I even get extra that uh, I use them for different occasions. Uh, you see it's a module, you can move it any place and uh, the cords is just like uh, attached to the certain hooks over there. Like for instance, before I start to work on them, you see I just uh, lose uh, the cords just to be sure that I got extra length. Yeah, you, you can work very comfortable. And like always uh, in my shop, the uh, electricity goes from the top. There's nothing on the floor. And uh, uh, I know already this uh, uh, bits of the different sizes. I use them on the f especially for Stanley. And like for instance, let's say if I have to make uh, mark uh, these holes, the main holes, um, they just uh, very tight uh, with the screw. That's why you have to be really uh, uh, perpendicular uh, goes in order to make the uh, beginning of this. You see, it goes really just like inside this hole and you just like find the easy place and just, just start it and hear the same thing. You have to follow uh, the direction on the hole here, like that, whatever it is. You can find this hole very important for you later on when we uh, make the measurements because that's our one of our references for the pin box. The rest holes you do it accordingly uh, the nature of uh, the bit. Well, everybody knows it is just because the top is wider and you have to uh, use two uh, bits uh, in order to uh, uh, make them uh, good. And uh, of course you, we got the bits here too for this purpose. You can, uh, you can uh, just make the here uh, just uh, the stop too uh, and then and then when you uh, do this one you got another drill with a, a actually smaller bit and you just go all the way through yeah that's how you do it and uh, of course it's uh, no magic uh, everybody knows how to do this it just only we want to show you this is a very important uh, tool here that uh, makes you feel uh, more comfortable and uh, as you see it's got a lot of extra uh, space you can use it for different occasions uh, now uh, when i uh, finish with the screws uh, i'm gonna do the uh, mark all the holes it's too high over 200 holes just for boring uh, the pin block but before this i'm show you one more step you have to control uh, be sure that uh, the blank uh, that you did is a good uh, on the piano and uh, I show you how to do it too. Yes, finally we get to uh, one more step in uh, this uh, pin block replacement and as you see no clamps already all the pin block tight with the screws right well, because we uh, prepare the holes and we tie them. Uh, you can uh, in order to do this of course, it's old-fashioned. It's very reliable uh, way uh, to do it. It's like braces, right? You get a good bit and you can tighten it. Uh, but we, of course, don't use it. Uh, we use uh, this uh, cordless um, electric. This is a very good heavy-duty 
um, drill, it's a Panasonic. I don't know if it exists, but it works already many years, perfect. And uh, it's done here. Now it's time to uh, make the marks for uh, the pins, uh, because uh, we're gonna drill them, uh, bore them later on. And in order to do this, we use, uh, I recommend highly, it's a Hitachi high-speed uh, drill. It's, uh, I think it's a 4,000 RPM. And uh, the bit's supposed to be forced on a bit, but it's, uh, I especially did it. You see, it's a long point, and uh, this actually, these uh, sides, I dull them. They're not uh, going down. It means whatever you push it, you just only make the center. And uh, I just show you, you do it like this, you put it on the on side, and you just keep going like that. Push it a little bit, and it um, gives you this imprint. Uh, later on, when I uh, take all the screws, I show you uh, how it looks, and we get to the next step, actually final, uh, check uh, how the pin uh, pin block inside the piano. Our next procedure to release pin block, uh, it means we have to unscrew all these uh, screws on the plate. And uh, uh, again, the reason I want to show you again the tool, uh, this tool got uh, two options. One is just regular uh, drill uh, and uh, impact, it shows here. Just to show you that you need the tool, uh, some tool to just to to lose the screws. You see, it's very comfortable. It doesn't, it doesn't hit to your wrist. Uh, once you uh, done all of them, uh, I suggest you just leave one, only one, and then later on you just uh, lose one and you take the pin block unless it dropped to the floor. That's a little tip for you. But uh, I want to just uh, one more time emphasize on this tool, just maybe it's gonna be different company, but uh, try to just uh, get as much a uh, good tool for you, because as you notice already, it's a lot of, a lot of steps here. Okay, let me finish with this one. And the last one, you hold. And now you can see the imprints of this uh, post in a bit. Yeah, as you see, it got a circle and it's got the point. You need it because when you uh, get uh, the bit to your uh, point, you just lose the control unless you have the circle. That's why I highly recommend you to uh, prep the proper bit uh, for you and that's going to help you a lot. Uh, after that, we have to finally, finally, uh, make the pin block in dimension. And that's what we're gonna do now on the bench over there. And we have the, some uh, references that we do it uh, right over there. And uh, let's proceed to the bench. Now is a very important uh, step uh, in the replacement pin block. Uh, we have to finally uh, get the measurements, dimensions on the pin block. This is where the, our measurements, we took them when the original pin block was inside the piano. That's the, uh, the distances from the main uh, holes of uh, pin block. And uh, we got it here. Uh, as you see, it's a side and the height. That's how we just like measure uh, the position of our side, it's almost uh, like it was before, and the height, the height, we just apply it to the center, and that's the height of our pin block. Uh, then uh, we got uh, the curve of the top of the pin block here that we mark it, we can just like check it. It goes between these two holes. Here, and I just place it towards this curve and and put a line here and as you see it's uh, of course it's almost almost goes on the same level with uh, this uh, dimension but 
I highly recommend you to cut a little bit off because uh, you'd better get extra pin block than you cut over. And from this side, the same thing. We got the side dimensions here, side ones, that we just put it here, side, and we got a height here, and it's all uh, from this hole, because it's most consistent hole. And then the same thing, we got the curve, with references to this hole, three holes on the pin block. We just like place it towards the curve, and we did our measurements here. Now, now, we have to put a line from here, here, and towards the next one, like that. You see? And we put a line. That's our cut. We cut it uh, on this one, and we cut the sides. It's got to be here, cut. We use this pattern, like that. And here is going to be another cut on this dimension. We just cut it. Yes. The one thing that uh, we have to um, take into consideration is uh, how uh, our stretcher bar position on the piano. And uh, sometimes, sometimes it's got the angle here on this point. Here on this piano, it's a square. We measure it already and that's why we cut straight on, on the table saw. Uh, that's basically uh, it. But once we're done the blank, uh, with the blank pin block, we try to fit it here and check it how it positioned with the plate. Uh, let's uh, uh, do some cuts and then we uh, move to another step. measurements, we cut it here, and uh, we can put it inside the piano. Uh, as you see, it goes really firm, perfect, that's what we expect actually uh, to be. Now, the main test, we have to put a plate, uh, land it uh, inside on all the studs, see their position to be sure that it uh, goes uh, good with the pinball. Watch the studs here to be sure that the studs go inside. Like that. Uh, as you see, yeah, it is just perfect. It couldn't even wish better. As you see, it's everything on the places and the studs not compressed. Uh, we have the very just like easy, the plate landed and the support is excellent. Yeah, now uh, uh, the major thing is done, and it looks like it's done, but uh, we uh, show you already next step. Next step is going to be boring the pin block. And as you remember, we got the excellent tool that enable you to do it perfectly. And after that, we actually glue the pin block inside the piano. Uh, we glue it towards the stretcher bar and to the belly. Uh, the one thing we want to just make our point that you have to glue the pin block together with the pin block, with the clamps, just to get eliminate all the future stresses that might happen. Never going on the uh, screws is going to get a problem for you. It might later on uh, crack on your uh, size of your piano and uh, basically basically we show you all this procedure and uh, as you remember we use a lot of tools 
But uh, all these tools is very important to make a good job like we did and we've seen here. And uh, after that, your pin block lasts four generations. It means more than we can expect, you know, like that. We want to thank you and uh, hopefully you follow our uh, procedure and all the what we advise for you. All the best.